Hello everyone, do you want to elevate your Shopify store sales and customer loyalty? Well, you can easily do that by giving loyalty points and rewards to your customers on your Shopify store. Now, AppStore's loyalty and rewards app is one of the best options to help you achieve that. And that's not all. You also get many more advanced but easy to use features in your Shopify store with this particular app. Thus, in this video, let me give you a quick walkthrough of this comprehensive, advanced but easy to use AppStill's loyalty and rewards app. I'm Aparna Sindhu from LearnVu and let's get started. Now, Upsell is one of the top apps in Shopify App Store. It offers the powerful solution to boost customer experience and loyalty in your store. Now, if we talk about Upsell's loyalty and rewards app, it is one comprehensive loyalty solution built to grow your revenue, brand loyalty and customer lifetime value. Now, the app offers many features for your Shopify store. First is the loyalty program in form of comprehensive activity rules, reward rules, creation of referrals and VIP tiers. Second is white glove migration, which means the app lets you transfer your Shopify store on your behalf without any need of your involvement. And third is seamless native Shopify POS integration. Now, one of the best features that makes this app user friendly is it has 24 into 7 all days help support in case of any difficulty or problem while accessing the app. Now, let's take a quick look at each of these features one by one. Now, for that, we will first need to install the app. To install the app, go to your Shopify account. Now, go to the Shopify dashboard. Here click on apps. Now here on the search bar, search apps and loyalty and rewards. Now you'll get many results, but this is the app that we need to install. So click on it. Now here click install. Once that's done, from here click install app. An Appstill Loyalty and Rewards app will be installed in no time. However, the link to install the app is also given in the description. Now, this is how the dashboard of the app would look like. First, let's take a look at the loyalty program. Now, this app provides a loyalty program for the customers that can be set through activity rules, reward rules, VIP tiers and referrals. Now to start with, let's first take a look at how to add activity rules. Now activity rules in simple words are a set of guidelines that customers must follow in order to gain points, which can be later redeemed for rewards. Now let's see how that works. For that, simply go to Appstill Loyalty and Rewards Dashboard. Now click on Activity Rules. Now before we continue, you can see that we are getting a banner message here on top. So click here to enable the app embed. Next toggle this button here to ensure that the apps and loyalty and rewards app is embedded to your live Shopify theme. This is how the embedded app would look like. Once done, click save. Now go back to the activity rule section. Click on create first activity rule. Now here you'll get different rules options like purchase rule, new customer rule, purchase subscription products, birthday rules, etc. Along with all that, you will also have social media rules and review rules. Let's first create a new customer rule. For that, click create rule in front of new customer. Now here give a name to the rule. Next, go to the base points and set the points you want to offer to every customer that signs up to your site. Next, here in the customer facing label, make changes as per your requirement. This is basically the message that you want to display as a label to your customers. Next, scroll down to the notification section. Now, whatever message is written here will be seen by customers when they receive points. Now make any changes if required. 
Next here in the rule status, go and select active to activate it instantly. Once done, click save. Similarly, you can create more rules by clicking on add rule button here. Let me quickly create another rule. Now this time I'll create a purchase rule. For that, simply click on create rule in front of purchase rule option. Similar to the previous rule, enter the name, give the customer facing label. Now here in the base points option, give the points that will be offered for each dollar spent on purchase by the customers. Like here I have given 20 points. So 20 points will be rewarded for each dollar spent by the customer. Now for example, if a customer purchases $100 products, he will be rewarded 100 into 20, that is total 2000 points. Accordingly, you can enter your base points here. Now please note that the points are calculated by the total amount paid excluding shipping. Now from here you can choose whether you want to give points for tax, whether you want to give points for shipping and disable points for products on sale. Similar to the previous rule, make other changes. And once done, save and your purchase rule will be created. Similarly, you can keep adding as many rules as you want by clicking on add rule button here. Choose any rule. Now this app gives you small tutorials for each rule to help you create it easily and without much effort. Now for that simply click on view tutorial and follow the steps that is shown in the video and then you are good to go. Now once you have created rules for your customers to earn loyalty points, now there must be a way to redeem these points. Thus you can set guidelines to allow your customers to redeem these loyalty points from the reward rules option. For that go to apps and loyalty and reward apps dashboard, click on reward rules. Now click on create first reward rule. Next from here select the type of redeem rule that is how you want the points to be redeemed whether in form of a discount, free shipping, free product, free discount etc. Now let me select discount for that click on create rule in front of that option. Now here give the reward name, enter the customer facing label however I'll leave it as it is. Next here in the redeem label, give the message that customers will see after redeeming the points. Now this also I'll leave it to its default setting. Next in the cost of redeem, enter the amount of points a customer will need to redeem this particular reward. Next here, enter the discount amount or percentage according to your choice. Here I'll give 10%. Now here give the minimum spend which means that the discount can be applied only if the customer is having the minimum purchase of this particular amount. Here I'll enter 100. Next here select which products will be allowed for discount. I'll select one time products. You can also select subscription products or select both. Next let all the settings be same as shown on the screen. Ensure that the reward status is active. Once done, click save. Similarly, you can create more rewards from the create reward options here. Select the redeem rules and enter the required information. However, for an easier and smoother process, click on view tutorial and follow the steps. Next, let's create reference rewards, which means that your customers will receive discounts or points on referring your store to someone. For that, go to the apps dashboard, click on referrals. Now select whether you want to give discount as rewards or point as rewards from the drop down here. Now click on add reward and similar to the previous method, add a discount reward here. Give the discount amount or percentage like here I have given 10% and from here select the minimum purchase amount for example 90. Once done click save. Next go to the other add reward tab. Here select points from the drop down. Now click add reward. Now enter the points that would be given as reward. 
like here I have entered 100 and once done click save. Now scroll down and select the criteria when the discount or points are to be applied like in case of new customers, purchase, subscription purchase etc. Here I have selected visit store. Scroll down to referral status and select active. Once done click update. Now every time your customer refers your store to someone and he or she visits your store, your customer will get a discount of 10% on purchase of any product with a minimum purchase value of 90 and would also get 100 points as well. This would be achieved only when the person who received the referred link visits the store with that particular link. Next, let's create VIP tiers. Now, the VIP page lets you create and manage multiple tiers within your loyalty program to better incentivize your most loyal customers. The tiers can be based upon dollars spent in a year, etc. Now, for that, let's first activate the VIP tiers. Go to Apps Dashboard, click on VIP. Now, scroll down to the bottom and toggle this button to activate the VIP tiers. Now from here you'll get some already added VIP tiers like bronze, silver and gold. You can edit these from the edit option here or add a new tier from the add tier option here. First deactivate the VIP option to make any changes. Next click on add tier. Now give the name to the tier like here I am giving diamond tier. Enter the milestone points here. Like here I've given 2500. You can also enter any tag for any specific customers here. And once done, click save. And your new VIP tier will be added successfully. Next, scroll down and activate the VIP tiers again. Now, every time your customers receive a reward or sign up or have a birthday, their rewards or points are notified to them through emails. Now, Appsil gives you nine such email templates which can be edited as per your requirement. Now, for that, go to the Apps dashboard, click on Email Setup. Here, you will get all the email templates. You can choose to activate or inactivate these mails according to your need by clicking on this particular button here. You can also edit it by clicking on the edit option here. Make the changes and click update. Now let's send a test email and see how it looks. Click on the test email here, enter the email ID where you want to send the test email to and click submit. Now this is how the email would look like. Now here you can see that it's written that the mail is sent via Appstill. Now if you don't want Appstill's name to be mentioned, you will have to create an email custom domain from the option here. For that, simply click on this particular option. Now watch this small tutorial and follow the steps to create a custom email domain. Now that was all about the loyalty and rewards features that Appsil offers. But Appsil's this app is not only about loyalty and rewards. It also offers white glove migration, which means that the app lets you transfer your Shopify store customer data on your behalf without any need of your involvement. For that, simply go to Apps Dashboard, click on Migration. Here you'll get different options. Let's select this particular one. Now click on Import. Now here, upload the CSV file of your customer's data and click Import. And it's done. Similarly, you can choose any one from all these options to migrate your store's customer's data. Now, Appsil's loyalty and rewards app integrates well with all top Shopify apps. To know which apps are well integrated with Appsil's loyalty and rewards app, go to Appsil's loyalty and rewards apps dashboard. Click on app integration and here you'll find all the apps that this app has well integration with. Like Appsil's integrations, email integrations, review integrations, page builder integrations, etc.
Adding to all that, Appsell's loyalty and rewards app has native Shopify POS integration, which means that it has been directly built and optimized to work smoothly within Shopify's POS environment without requiring external connections or workarounds. And that was all. So this was the detailed walkthrough of the Appsell's loyalty and rewards app. Hope you found this video helpful for you to get more customers to your Shopify store. If you like like this video give a big thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this and don't forget to hit the bell icon to keep getting updates on more such videos thank you so much for watching i'll be signing off and we'll see you in the next video